Gregor, two games to go with the Championship and the Triple Crown that's still at stake. Um, how's training been this week? Yeah, good, good. We're, we're an extra day's preparation, um, which, which allows us to connect more, talk about our opposition, um, get the focus on what we need to do um, to improve from our last game, but also uh, it really challenges a strong Irish team. In your starting 15, you've named Stuart Hogg for the 100th time. What are your memories of coaching him? He's a player you, that you know really well. Yeah, well, I was part of the Scotland team many years ago as assistant coach when Stuart won his first cap uh, down in Wales um, and did really well that day. Uh, he, he's always someone that's had a, a great all-round skill set. Um, his basics, whether it's catch, pass, running ability, his understanding the game, uh, been at a high level since he's 18, 19. I remember watching him playing as a 16-year-old for for Hoyk in the Gala Sevens, playing that Scotland under 18s, scoring a brilliant try for Scotland A, and then going on to have a, a wonderful international career. Um, he's trained really well this week. Uh, he's highly motivated um, and he's in very good physical shape. So we're, we're looking forward to seeing him winning that 100 cap. Two changes in that starting 15, one enforced obviously with, with Gilchrist ruled out. Talk us through those changes that you've made. Yeah, well, obviously we had to make a change in second row as uh, Grant picked up his, his ban. Um, and with the back row, we feel Jack's done really well off the bench, um, been training at a high level, uh, very consistent. Uh, he's integrated with, with our group um, and his second campaign with us now. And we feel it's the right time and the right opposition for him to start. Um, Scott Cummings and, and Hamish can add real speed off, off the bench. Uh, and this week going with a 5-3, Chris Harris's experience on the bench. Um, uh, we're looking forward to him being involved once more. And facing Ireland, obviously the number one team in the world, a team that you know well. What can we expect from them on Sunday? Well, they they play really efficient, effective rugby. Um, they're very good in the contact area. Uh, strong set piece. Uh, really good defensive team. Conceded the least amount of tries this this season. And they have an, a cohesion in how they, they attack. Um, which has shown that they, they can beat anybody in the world and they're rightly the best team in the world over over the last couple of years results. So we'll be challenging our defence, challenging our attack, uh, but we're, we're looking forward to that challenge. You want you want to go up against the best teams of the world. You, you want to improve as well from what you've done the last game and that's what we've been working on this week.